Hey, what is going on everyone? This is Ari Views back with another video and today I will show you guys 10 iOS 14 home screen widgets that you must have on your iPhone on October 2020. These are new widgets that have recently been released and updated to work with the new feature of iOS 14. They're very cool and of course most of them are very useful as well. So here are 10 iOS 14 home screen widgets that you must have on your iPhone. Starting things off with Widgetify, this app offers a ton of different widgets to add to the home screen of your iPhone, like different types of widgets. You can see right here, all of these are from Widgetify. We have a reminder for the pills, we have our favorite contacts and water log right there. So you can see here, this one is very useful, favorite contacts, call them directly from the home screen, just tap on one of the contacts, it will take you to the app and of course, give you the option to call that contact, which is of course very, very useful. Now on the app here, you can see the different widgets that this app offers. The water reminder, favorite contacts, pill reminder, today's calendar, and a mood tracker as well, which is really, really interesting. You can add all of these to the home screen from this one app. Next up is Photo College. Now this one is really interesting. With iOS 14, you can add your photos to the home screen as a widget, but they will just randomly change and it will pick just like any random picture and place it right there. There are a ton of apps that offer you to select any picture you want to put it on the home screen, but Photo College allows you to create colleges of photo and have them on the home screen as a widget. You can go ahead and go to the app and from here we'll have of course the three different types of widgets. You go ahead and select your photos and then from here you can change the layout. You can see different layouts that you can add to these photos so it will basically create different layouts based on the photos that you have selected. Then you have here background. You can remove the background completely or you can add like different colors. Now this can match of course your wallpaper and that will make it look really really good if you're creating a setup or something like that you can just basically go ahead and edit it from there and then it will update on the home screen and you will have some really cool photo colleges put on the home screen of your iphone as a widget next up is x progress x progress is an app that allows us to track the progress of different events like for example let's say the progress of a year or the progress of days until an event that you have selected so here we have at the top we have a custom event of course we have that 18 days from now and it will show you the percentage or right there of how much of the days have completed until that event and then here we have the year so you can basically add like custom events or you can add the year or the order of the month from here so if we just 3d touch go to edit widget you can see here we can switch from year to month for example or to week whatever we want and of course we can also go ahead and from here select the events so here are the custom events that we have created and then you will have it updated right here you can also change the theme so you can see that beautiful theme if you go right here you can basically go ahead and change the theme there are different themes that you can download on this app but they are actually paid and you have to pay like 99 cents i believe for a theme to download it if you want to have like a different theme on the home screen one widget is the next app for this video now one widget offers you some very useful widgets as it allows you to place different informations within one widget so you can see right here i have the big 4x4 widget and i have here like four separate smaller widgets which are basically merged into one so if i go ahead and go to edit this widget you can see that i have first type second type third type and fourth type so i can basically go ahead and change whatever i want on that corner on this corner this one and this one basically choose whatever i want to place right there here we have like four different widgets into one here we have two i can go ahead and tap the edit button and here we have first type we have second type here we have storage storage space i can switch to today date and you can see right here it will show me the today date i have the same one right here but you can basically go ahead and edit and place anything you want right there which is actually very very useful and you will have everything that you need within one widget the next app for this video is called countdown now this is a simple app it has only one type of widget the two by two the smaller widget and you can basically place it anywhere on the home screen and just tap right there you can go to the app and create any event you want you tap here create your event you basically add a background there you can add a background color or you can add any of your images as a background and then once you have added the widget you just go ahead and go to edit widget right here and choose whichever of the countdowns that you have there you want to place on the home screen and then you will have 
that widget displaying that countdown for the date that you have selected you can see right there birthday 18 days and we have a custom background which i have set from one of my photos that i have on the photo gallery so of course you can place this anywhere on the home screen add multiple ones of them and just select whichever event you want to show there Next up is a weather app called Hey Weather. Now, when it comes to weather widgets, there are a ton of them. Hey Weather is hands down my favorite one, and I only use this one as the weather widget for my home screen. Now, you can see the beautiful design and a lot of information that it will display on the home screen. So here we have the 4x4 and we have the 2x4 here. So right here, you can see we have the wind, we have the humidity, the pressure, the UV index and we have everything basically from the current like weather and we have now the forecast here for the next four days which is really amazing now if you tap on one of the widgets it will take you to the app right here where you can go ahead and actually customize these widgets so if you tap on one of them then you will have the ability to change its color change how the icons are displayed and of course tap right there if you want to save them so just like that you can see you can customize this the way you like you have more options if you want to pay for them but there are a bunch of free ones as well and make them look however you want sticky notes is a new app that has recently been released and it allows you to basically add like sticky notes to the home screen of your iphone using widgets so here i have two of them you can go ahead and tap on one of them if you want to edit it so you can place anything you want here click save and then of course you will have that on the home screen so just like a sticky note basically that's what it is you can add like right here you can see you have a checklist anything you want and that will be added to the home screen it's very simple to use you just add any like note anything that you need to remember quickly and you want to have it right there on your site on the home screen just add it to sticky notes and place it anywhere you want on the home screen next up we have pedometer this is a fitness app which will display you how much you have walked it will show your steps right here you can see the chart you can see the steps right here it shows you the floors and the miles how much you have walked at the top right there you can see it shows that circle that's another widget which shows you your goal basically how much you have completed your goal so that's really really interesting it also offers other widgets that you can add it has like five or six i believe widgets that you can add displaying different fitness information and of course your move information you can have all of that on the home screen of your iphone year progress is the next one for this video now we have here two different widgets one of them will show you just the year so it shows you right here how many days are left and the percentage how much this year has been completed the other one right here will show you the days left the weeks left and the hours left for today so you can see right here this is really cool so you have today's completion right here you have the weeks and then you have the day so your progress will basically show you the year progress right on the home screen of your iphone and last but not least is transparent widgets now what this does it allows you to create blank spaces on the home screen of your iphone so you go to the last page of apps on the home screen of your iphone you go to the edit mode swipe once more and just take a screenshot right here now what you need to do is go ahead and just open the app open transparent widget so once you have opened it go ahead and select the screenshot that you just took and once you have selected the screenshot then you're good to go you can go ahead and add the widget wherever you want on the home screen to create a blank space so just go to the widgets panel so just like this we can add a widget here so you can see it places right there and it will of course create a blank space now if i want to place it on another place so if i want to place it right here of course it won't fit so what we have to do is go here to edit widget and choose the position so we have top right and you can see it will change the top right so now we have a blank space right there which looks really really awesome now this is very cool if you're uh, like want to create a setup or something you want to have blank spaces on the home screen you can do that using this free widget so that's pretty much it for this video guys these are 10 ios 14 home screen widgets that you must have on your iphone in october 2020 so these widgets have recently been released most of them have been updated recently for ios 14 of course a ton of them are coming also in the next few days so i will keep you updated with another video with the cool widgets that you can install on your ios 14 device so thank you guys for watching don't forget to subscribe for more and leave a like on this one and i will see you on the next one